I once saw Steve McQueen, Ken Miles, and Sean Connery binge drinking mojitos on the lawn there. Right here. Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are in the north of Tenerife today because, thank you Andy, we've got a tip-off about a location that we've never considered before. And listen to this. Okay, so Andy, who I know watches the channel, he said to me, Freddie, if you want to film a really nice spot and enjoy a ride out, try El Monasterio in Los Realjos. The place is an old monastery with tropical gardens turned into a country restaurant. It's super cool. I once saw, get ready for this, I once saw Steve McQueen, Ken Miles and Sean Connery binge drinking mojitos on the lawn there. Well, we had to go and find out. So here we are in a place that is not one of the popular tourist destinations of Tenerife. You've got the likes of Ico de los Linos, La, La Ratava nearby, and they get all of the tourists pretty much. This place, Los Realjos, doesn't get anywhere near the amount of attention. So first things first, we're gonna see if we can find the monastery where Steve McQueen and Sean Connery were binge drinking mojitos. This whole place is absolutely stunning. We just went through the town, beautiful old buildings with that, that amazing backdrop of the huge cliffs all the way along. It's so lush and beautiful, really. It's, it's some of the nicest looking buildings actually that we've seen. It really does fit in with the likes of Laura Tava and Ico de los Venus. Amazing place. We've arrived. El Monasterio something completely gone. El Monasterio in Los Realjos. This is the spot Steve McQueen and Sean Connery would have been drinking mojitos. My guess is about 1965 or so and you can picture it. It's a classy establishment. It's really nice. I can't wait to go in. I don't think we've seen too many buildings like this in Tenery full stop have we? I'm so excited. I can't wait to get in. Let's go. Okay here we go. So first off the main building here, built in 1788 by a friar who used to sell his wine to, I think, different islands like Lanzarote. He must have done okay, because this is a pretty big building and it's, what would it be now, 230 years old or something, which actually for, for Tenerife for the Canaries actually is pretty old. So main building here, church bit there, I can see on the side, 
and it looks like there are different areas. So restaurant there, it looks like another restaurant there, and there may be some stuff around the side. So, and obviously you've got lots of references to the wine making with all of the barrels, but what a spot. It really is one of the most characterful spots I've seen in Tenerife. I don't know what this would be. An old wine press maybe, it's massive. Must be some kind of wine press. Or some kind of beer making, wow. It's, it's just a brilliant place, isn't it? Brilliant place. Lots of religious references here. Maybe this is the, the friar here himself. I'm too excited, should we go in? Yes. Let's go. This place is, I think, the, the most characterful place that we've seen in Tenerife so far. It's absolutely beautiful. Dark wooden ceilings. Inside you've got a whole load of kind of pirate themed stuff. And you've even got a few skulls in there as well. It's got a bit of a, a nautical thing there. Ah, gracias. It's such a nice place. And the backdrop as well, gracias. The backdrop with the sun on the mountains there, the huge cliff sides all of the palm trees, a few dragon trees outside. What a setting, what a place. I, I haven't had any drink or any food and I already absolutely love it. If you're coming purely for experience, this has got to be one of the top places in Tenerife. Oh, Monica, look there. Do you know what, we were warned, well warned is the wrong word, we were told about this. There are peacocks and chickens just running around freely in here. Oh, could this place get any better? lunch done and it was delicious but this place initially if it's the first time you've been it's almost a bit confusing because we thought okay right that's the place to eat there I went into the first place but it turns out there are a number of restaurants here I think these are all the names of different restaurants and stuff all within the same kind of building I think it goes on for further than we think and there you've got a, a cafe with cakes and some seafood breakfast the whole day Let's go and explore here and see what we can find. And then this we've just discovered is the little restaurant that was right next to us that I just assumed was the same restaurant, but they're two separate ones. This is so like rustic and Spanish with the old, almost trip then, the old uh, horse things and farming things over there on the walls and stuff. And that classic checkered red and white tablecloth and all of the barrels. And also, Monica, the, all of the roofs, the terracotta roofs with the palm trees behind. How nice is that? Beautiful. Beautiful place. Mm. It's actually just, it's just on a normal road. So you wouldn't really realise it. This is the, the normal road here. You can see lorries and cars going past. We may even actually have ridden past here and not actually realised what it is. That's what these types of places are like. Sometimes they're right under your nose and you, you don't even realise what they are coffee shop oh yeah we have coffee. at least i think so they've got coffees there but this is a completely separate building here oh beautiful wow. mm. 
Shall we go? Let's see if it's open. Hmm, it's closed. No. Don't know why, but it's closed. Wow. Oh, it's so nice inside as well. It feels like it's from about 50 years ago oh, or something. What a shame. I don't know what this is. Look at this. What's that? An old pizza oven, maybe, or something? <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Pizza? Canarian? I don't Canarian know. pizzas? Would the Italians <laughs> have come over by then? Hmm. Not sure, maybe not. This is a village. This isn't just one building, it's a proper village and it is uh, really breathtaking. The views everywhere, we've caught it on an amazing day, but it is so nice to see these traditional Spanish buildings here with this view. We would never have considered coming here to Los Realjos if it weren't for the tip off from Andy. So thank you so much. We never have considered it. Mm. And here, one of my favorite things of Tenerife, banana plantations absolutely everywhere. In fact, fun fact, Los Realjos is a town and a municipality in Tenerife. So there's Los Realjos, the town and the municipality. It is one of the most protected parts of the whole of Tenerife. About 50% of the whole of the municipality of Los Realjos is actually protected, meaning you can't do any more development or building on it. They protect the countryside there. So it will probably be one of the more beautiful parts of the island because it is so well protected. Peacocks, they told us about them. I, I was chased by a peacock once and it no. got ugly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luckily I had a car to hide in. We don't have a car. Oh. Oh my god, they're so beautiful. Just don't look at it. Why? Don't look at it in the eye. Because <laughs> I know from experience I've got a bad temper. Oh wow. Wow. So beautiful. If they raise their feathers, it means they're going to attack. No. No, I think it does. Seriously, that's their way of scaring. Or maybe no. enticing the females. <laughs> I don't know. It's one of the two. Quite a few of these buildings are closed. I'm not 100% sure if it's COVID or just they open in the evenings. Mm -hmm. Maybe that they open in the evenings because it, it looks like they're fairly set up to be used. And this is another restaurant here. A lot of fish food and meats, like if you're a big, uh, fish and meat lover this place is really good because they've got a lot of these kind of restaurants wow and the view from this one would be amazing mm -hmm. straight out into the ocean with such like really nice fancy chairs as well. They're like the kind you'd see in National Trust in England or, or the UK. Should be open. They've even got a grand piano in there actually. Oh, do you? Yeah. Although it should be open right now. It says, look there, 9am mm. till midnight. But it must be because of COVID it's closed. Cafe Mirador. I think Mirador means... Mirador means view. Look at that. That is, they've just got completely clear glass, just walls at the back, so you get the whole view of the fountain there, and I think it's closed. No. Okay, remember, if you're watching this video during COVID, there's a chance these places are gonna be closed, but if it's now post-COVID, when you're watching these videos, come here, because these places for coffees it's got to be one of the best places on the island, yeah, doesn't it? We it's, must come back. It's so nice, the views. Did you show that? Yes, I did. Yeah. We will come back. So I've just peered over the wall here on my tiptoes. Banana trees there. 
just glass wall at the back so you can have a completely clear unobstructed view behind it with the mountains tables along here to have your coffees and cakes and the fountain is just there you can tell that it's closed because they've got rid of all the tables and chairs out here but when this is open after covid i can't imagine a classier nicer place to spend the afternoon Okay, Monica's just said that I didn't have to do that because, yeah, yeah, we could just have walked around and quite clearly shown it. We'll have to keep coming back to see when this is open. And yeah. when we know it's open, we'll let you know. Or if you know it's open, just let us know because this is the spot. Oh, what's that? A huge lizard. Run, no. Monica, run. You can just hear it. Lizards everywhere. I know. Just scuttling oh, around. Oh, okay. I'm Was that a big one? I'm not sure I can go. Monica, I promise you'll be fine. You'll be, you'll survive, you'll survive. These ones aren't man-eaters. <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> what amazing vegetation, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Cacti, no idea what that's called, but very weird. Huge palm trees, dragon trees as well we saw further down. Mm -hmm. and all with the backdrop of the ocean. You know, really, to make the most of it, you need to come with blue sky, don't you? Yeah. We're so lucky today. This is La Finca El Monasterio. And there's a lawn. It's, it's shut off like most of this, but there's just great setting, really nice view, lawn there. Could that be the place? where Steve McQueen and Sean Connery were drinking mojitos, were binge drinking mojitos back in the mid 60s. I think this is the place right here. It's got the perfect setting. You've got the lawns there. It'll be a perfect place for some afternoon, evening drinks. I mean, just, just imagine that. Like, what a sight, mid 1960s. With that view, you can imagine a, a glorious evening with those two. How much would you pay to know what they were chatting about? having their mojitos, so that's, that's a great, great vision. And this gives you a really good idea about the setting and how big this whole development is. Sorry, Monica's petrified of lizards, so if you see the camera <laughs> moving, it's because she's running. Okay. Lawn right here church and other buildings there of course the beautiful scenery as the backdrop that just in front of us i think i'm even losing my bearings but ah there just this white part right in front of us i think that's the entrance where we were eating from and it carries on all the way around here so it's actually a pretty big development with this spectacular backdrop monica okay I found the garden, the garden where McQueen and Connery would have been, and there's a bright blue peacock. Where? Oh, wow. So that's definitely the male. This is perfect peacock there and the peahens just behind it. This is the spot, 100%. This is the mojito spot. It is perfect. Be careful. <laughs> this place is paradise. Peacock, peacock, peahens around the back. Beautiful pond in the middle and so nicely landscaped with a dragon tree there, huge palm tree, lizards running around everywhere. Yeah. And some fish in the pond. And there's another one right there as well. Oh, yes. Hmm. This is a high, high class place. I think even actually Bill Clinton has been here, the former US president, and you can see why. This is a very top level place. I think
think it's very, very difficult to be able to find a more beautiful, tranquil destination in this. I don't think I've ever seen anywhere like it. Also, look at this tree here with these fruits. Look at the colour inside the fruit. Mm. I actually thought they were lemons or limes or something like that, but no, clearly not with that colour. I think we've been sitting here for about half an hour or something. You just lose time. It's such a nice, peaceful place to be. I just, I really wouldn't have had any idea that in Tenerife you'd have something like this. That's another place for eating. Again, it's close. 80% of the stuff here seems to be close, but all along there, if you switch sides, you can see all of the tables and chairs. And I saw an age on the front of this gate here that said, I think, 1645. So it sounds like some stuff here may even be as old as three or four hundred years old. The point of today's video, honestly, was to show Los Realajos, which is all of the beautiful area right up in the hills all the way down to the sea. We meant to only come here to El Maison de Monasterio, the monastery here. We meant to only come here for lunch and then head off to do exploring, but it's ended up being so interesting that it's been the whole video. So we'll save Los Realajos for another video and we will definitely come back and show you that. But if you come to Tenerife, this is, uh, this surprises me actually. This is essential. And I really did think that I and Monica, that both of us had seen all of the really big things to do in Tenerife. So this has been a huge, huge surprise. So if you're ten in Tenerife, definitely come along. And bear in mind that once COVID's over, all of those restaurants and coffee shops and everything will be open and it will be an even better vibe. Although we did get quite lucky seeing it all so quiet. but. Highly, highly recommended. And thank you so much for coming along with us today. This is all thanks to Andy who gave us a tip off about this location. So if you've got any other tip offs about locations in Tenerife that maybe we haven't seen, hidden gems, please do let us know. We save all of them and we do our very best to act on them. Thank you so much for coming along with us today. Please do give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.